Hello everyone, I know this might be a weird offhand video, but you guys seen the title before. But you guys might not know that a lot of us high level players do not like the PS5 controller. Right now I am using my custom Hori controller. And there's a big reason why, like this one is actually pretty good. Like you guys may notice that I'm pressing a bit up, I'm not jumping, right? I have to press directly up to actually jump up and I like it. Some of you might already have mistakes, especially PS4 players, where you have accidental jumps. Clockwork can attest to this. But one of the reasons why for me as an analog player, this is an analog player by the way, why the PS5 controller sucks, it's way too sensitive, like way, like I could barely press but here, go a little bit up and then I'll just start jumping. Super mad annoying, gives me mad input. It's just too sensitive. The analog is way too sensitive. And I'll show you, like I'll show you an example, right? We'll, we'll show you so you guys can believe me. Here, watch, right? I'm holding back. I'm holding down back, actually, down back. Then the second I go a bit, right? I'm, I'm about to go to where the normal state is. I know it's hard to see, look at that. Like I barely touch and it just goes. And the thing is, even if I'm here, look, you guys see that? Like it thinks I'm going like, it's too sensitive. So, and I'll get missed inputs. It's like, you guys see that, right? Like this is, I have to be Omega perfect for no reason. And I don't know, it's just, it, I feel like the travel time is too much. Second thing, well, so that's for analog players. Second thing why it's not liked a lot. These buttons are awful. These buttons are like, they're way too spread apart and they i don't know what else it is like they just don't feel good the, the triggers are okay i've heard people complain about those but yeah the buttons are not very good so basically my advice is if you guys can play on the ps4 version but that might be too late for some of you uh i would say if you play online play on ps4 because your save data doesn't carry over uh, capcom fucked up on that end for world tour but yeah so if you're wondering why you're having missed inputs and you're playing on analog now you know why but the buttons are just kind of hacked they don't feel great i mean look here's this right whatever then here's a goddamn you know these use cherry mx switches they're far faster and more precise than whatever this garbage is and main reason why a lot of players do, i recommend you play on d-pad uh the d-pad is not very comfortable and it's just it doesn't feel precise like see look at that i'm pressing down why am i you guys saw why am i getting a down forward input you guys see this look down you look at the screen there's a down forward input so, and the main reason people like D-pads, like see, the PS4 pad was comfortable. This was this have, right? It doesn't hurt your thumb. The PS3 had that problem. This one kinda, sorta is the same, but not as bad because it's at least softer, but like it's a bit too sharp. The other one, the PS4 one actually had a smooth thing. And this is it, this is not a real D-pad. It's an analog D-pad. Same reason why the Xbox is considered bad. This is an actual directional D-pad. This one, and you guys saw it, even my analog, the, the analog stick is directional therefore it's more precise so for precision you normally play on d-pad but the ps5 controller is terrible so yeah that's uh why the ps5 controller is bad i would highly recommend you guys get this you can get this for 60 dollars on amazon uh hori sponsor me i guess i mean should i put a link below i mean i'm not sponsored but you know what i'll put nihongo gamers so he can get some commissions you're welcome brother <laughs> but yeah i'd recommend you get this if you want to be serious at all for street fighter um, the PS5 default pad is just actually garbage. And it sucks because I, to me, this is a really comfortable controller. Like, to me personally, super comfortable controller. I also have the Vitrix Pro. Um, this one's not that comfortable for me and it just doesn't suit me. So, uh, I wouldn't know what to say on this one. Uh, it's not worth the $200 for fighting games alone. I'll tell you that much. But yeah, that's it. Just a video on why the PS5 pad is just terrible for fighting games. And yeah, that's it. That'll conclude this video. I'll catch you guys on whatever random video I feel like talking about.